Well, hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, and today I'm gonna to bring you a very random video. So it's not camping, it's not a product review, but I'm going to be bluing one of my knives. This isn't a video for this knife, but these are BPS knives, and they're made out of Ukraine, and these are the most fantastic, cheapest, full tang knives that I have ever had. Walnut handles, 1066 high carbon steel, Scandi grinds, and these are just absolute monsters. And they're they're just good knives. And if you lose them, you lose them. You know, I think this was $24, I think, but full tank. Anyway, it's not about the knife. But you can see it's got a mirrored finish to it. And I just I do not like the mirrored finish. And with it being 1066 high carbon steel, these things are going to rust regardless of well, you can take really good care of them, keep them oiled, wash them, wipe them down after every time you use them, but it's just really hard to keep rust away. Even the moisture in the leather sheath can soak through the leather and get on this blade, eventually cause rust. Now, speaking of the sheath, again, this isn't about the knife. This is the this sheath is worth more than $24. Super thick, high quality leather, a dangler loop, which I like because it doesn't get stuck on trees when you're walking, but anyway. Enough of that. This should be a really simple process. So obviously you need a knife and this is gonna be what they call cold bluing. So it's more or less basically putting a layer of this blue on the knife. It's not gonna last forever, but it's going to help prolong the life of the blade and hopefully eliminate some of the, you know, real fine surface layer rust. And it's gonna darken up that mirrored finish. So I'm using Birchwood KC Super Blue. So that'll be my bluing agent and some alcohol, steel wool, gloves, and a rag. But the first step is I gotta take these handle scales off on this knife and it just requires a couple of Allen keys. And simple enough. So these scales come right off. And again, these are, these are walnut handles and you can take these off and kind of sand them down a little bit, put some boiled linseed oil on them. Refinish them however you want, but almost lost it. For 24 bucks, I'll take it. So here is the knife without scales on it. And you can see underneath those scales, I'm gonna clean that up pretty well. I'm gonna do the first step of kind of cleaning it off because there was oil on it. So I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and just kind of give the first, just kind of give it a, just a quick, quick bath with this alcohol. And this doesn't have to be a perfect cleaning, but to kind of help the bluing agent and this mirrored finish, I'm gonna take some steel wool, and this is 4 aught steel wool. So it's very, very fine, but I'm gonna take a little sheet of this, just kind of scuff up the blade a little bit. Just a quick scuff. Now I'm gonna get my gloves on and I'm gonna give it another bath in alcohol and I'm putting gloves on because even the oil from your hands can affect, can kind of spot the blade when you put this bluing agent on. So to help eliminate that, I'm just gonna put these gloves on so I can eliminate some of the oil. Get a pretty healthy amount of, of uh, alcohol. I'm just gonna wipe this down. Open this up and give it one more clean wipe down with some more alcohol. So this should be oil free and clean and ready for this bluing agent. So I'm gonna pull you in closer and show you what it looks like. See if it works out well. Okay, so here you can see the knife is cleaned. It's still shiny, that steel wool didn't take off all of that polish. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. And we're just gonna start wiping this on it. Okay, you can already see it's starting to get a little bit darker. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this kinda sit and soak in. I'm gonna come back with some more steel wool and I'm gonna put a few more coats on it. But this is just the first kind of starter base coat for this. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and this first coat of blue, you can tell it's, you know, it's not very pretty. It's pretty streaky. So I'm gonna go in and actually scuff it up one more time with some steel wool 
and we're gonna put another coat of the stuff on. So second coat of the blue is gonna go on now. All right, we're gonna let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so the second coat is done. I went ahead and, and scuffed it up with my steel wool and we're getting there. You know, this isn't gonna turn black. It's just going to provide just a little bit more protection, but you can hopefully see here, we're getting just a little bit darker. So the final coat that I'm gonna use, instead of using this kind of coarse rag, I got some cotton balls. So we're gonna use these cotton balls to hopefully give it that, that nice last coat, a nice smooth finish. So we're gonna load up this cotton ball and I'm not gonna to worry too much about underneath where the scales are gonna be. So I'm just gonna kind of focus this last coat on the blade. I will get the back of the spine all the way down to the tip, the pommel. I'm gonna let this dry now and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put one more coat on, give it one more final sanding with the steel wool and we'll get the scales put on and I'll show you the final result. Okay, so I've got the fourth and final coat on and so I'm gonna take the steel wool, this, this four aught steel wool, one last time just lightly over the blade and give it one last little quick, quick scuff and then we'll get the handle scales on and I'll, and I'll show it to you, but then I'll take this outside so you can see it under sunlight, see what it looks like. You can do this with anything that's acidic. So you can actually use mustard, ketchup, lemon juice, lime juice, anything that's got a real acidy base, you can use it. You don't have to use this bluing agent, but I do much prefer this darkened look over the, the mirrored polish shine. And also just a quick note, guys, this is still not gonna protect your knife from, from getting rusted. You're still going to have to oil it up. This is just, forcing a patina on this steel. This would eventually happen with the years of use. I'm just making it happen quickly, um, but, but I'm still gonna oil it. Now you can use gun oil, you can use knife oil. I don't like to use gun oil because I do use these knives for cooking and out, you know, when I'm camping, cutting food and stuff. And I actually use a very light coat of olive oil. That way it's food safe and I don't have to worry about eating gun oil. And just a real thin, thin coat. So. There we go. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So I'm going to get these handle scales put on and I'll, and I'll show it to you and then we'll go outside. That's all she wrote. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down with a little microfiber towel. Finished result. So let me take you guys outside so you can see it under the sunlight. But overall, I'm, I'm, I much prefer this look over that mirrored polish shine. And for a $25 knife, if you mess it up, you mess it up, but you really can't mess it up doing this method. But I do just like taking off that shiny factory polish on it. I think this looks much better and it will help in the rust prevention. Again, it's not going to stop the rust. You still have to take care of your knife, but it will help it a little bit. So let's go outside and take a look at this in the sun.